oceans are warming. Winds are intensifying. Sea ice is disappearing. These changes impact the Antarctic food chain. For Southern Hemisphere humpback whales, the effects could be disastrous. The health of these whales relies directly on the health of this vast and spectacular ecosystem. And the ecosystem in turn relies on the whales to transport nutrients from deep water to the surface waters, which fertilizes the phytoplankton eaten by krill, which is critical to all life in Antarctica. In the past few decades, climate change has tripled the rate of ice loss in Antarctica, particularly the Antarctic Peninsula where the abundance of krill is at risk. Humpback whales, among many species, feed on krill which fuels their migration across thousands of kilometres of ocean. The whales are indicator species for the health of our oceans, showing us if something has disturbed the natural balance of the Antarctic ecosystem. The scientific community is deeply concerned about how climate change will affect these ocean giants. We need to understand these changes and urgently, because no matter where you live, we all depend on the health of the Southern Ocean. It drives global ocean circulation and climate systems, transporting nutrients that sustain the health of global oceans, providing food security to marine life and to us. Antarctic seas absorb 40% of all carbon sequestered by oceans and remain among the least understood environments on our planet. Conservation International is partnering with the Ponok Foundation to study southern hemisphere humpback whales in Antarctica. We aim to better understand how the variability of Antarctic sea ice impacts humpback whales and how noise produced from ships affects the whales as tourism increases in this region. Using photo identification and genetic research we will define where the whales are going and how their populations are related. Nice fluke! <laughs> we will study how they use sound to communicate and coordinate behaviour like feeding. Yeah, so we're deploying the sound trap hydrophone uh, in one of the enclosed bays here in Marguerite Bay gonna have this recording about a mile or a mile and a half from where they're doing their passenger landing and see if we're picking up the zodiacs this far inside of the enclosed bay. Um, so we'll let it drift out here for a couple of hours while we go look for whales and collect some useful baseline data in the meantime. Using chemical markers we can track physical change in the whales due to changing food availability caused by climate change. This work, an innovative polar science partnership model, is based on international collaboration and will support tourism best practices in this unique and sensitive Antarctic ecosystem. Protection of Antarctica is not only critical for the adaptation of marine life to climate change, but also as the resource on which polar tourism relies. Our work aims to drive the creation of essential marine protected areas in Antarctica, contributing to the long-term conservation and management of the polar seas on which all life depends.